It's time now for the Pear Channel Afternoon News for the Sunday afternoon, January 18, 2015. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins here. Your 1 o'clock afternoon news and lines here. And our top story at 1 o'clock here is... Pope Francis wrapped up this trip to the Philippines with a mass at Bayside Rizzle Park and this capital attended by between 6 and 7 million people despite steady rain all this day and Sunday. An unknown motorist fired gunshots from a public road while speeding past U.S. Vice President Joe Biden's home in Delaware, according to the Secret Service. In Washington, President Barack Obama's new tax plan branded raptor criticism from the Republicans on Sunday underscoring that John just facing any attempt to overhaul the U.S. More than four out of the ten French people believe that Charlie Hebdo was wrong to publish cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad because they offend Muslims. Fitness expert and reality TV star Greg Plitt was struck and killed by a Metrolink train in Burbank, California, Saturday. He was 37 years old. There are 14 days on the landmark, over and out. Two teenagers, age 18 and 13, will have a left of a trail of stolen vehicles and bad checks from Kentucky to Florida. And I say they just want to go home. The traffic control tower of the Dennex. Sergei Pankov International Airport, which was damaged by a shell in the scene with the Ukrainian national flag on top of Donetsk, East Ukraine in October 2014, as the Ukrainian troops retake most of the Donetsk airport from the rebels. Finally, nine men on death row full of hope as Jakarta, Brazil, and Netherlands on Sunday recalled their ambassadors from Indonesia after Jakarta defied their planes to not execute Dutch and Brazilian citizens convicted of drug offenses. 42% of French people say cartoons that upset Muslims shouldn't be published. As customers created by the first edition of the Charlie Hedbo since the terror attack in the magazine. Boko Haram attacked a village in Norway, Cameroon early Sunday, killing three people and staging its largest kidnapping yet in the country. The information minister said that some of the hostages were children. Nearly every night for a year, mortar and sniper fire from Islamic State group militants has been down outgun Iraqi troops on the edge of Fallujah. Two days after Mitt Romney spoke in San Diego to the Republican National Committee about a potential 2016 run, syndicated Congress George Will send the President alarm regarding the possibility. At least one person was killed and others injured in a multi vehicle crash that shut down an icy highway west of Philadelphia on Sunday morning, reported he said. As jury selection begins in the trial of the alleged Colorado theater gunman, many have focused on the trial prosecutors in the case. A prayer breakfast and speeches in a march among the events planned around Martin Luther King Jr. Day, Federal Hall Day, and Monday. In Genoa, Alaska, after years of being flushed with oil money, Alaska now faces a drastic budget cut having to dip into well stock savings to upset unprecedented deficits accelerated by an unexpected plunge in oil prices. In Lewis and Maine, Wall Street may possibly be growing anxious about the negative effect of falling oil prices on the Energy producers about the steep declines of current weeks are delivering substantial benefits to the U.S. One of the reasons is that they press on the markets, the European Central Bank will almost certainly announce a decision to buy sovereign bonds on Thursday. In Zurich, Swiss officials sought to reassure the country on Sunday that a shock decision by the Central Bank to a cap of the Frank would not destabilize the economy ahead of a crucial week in which the European Central Bank Sprint on prepaid curve. Virgin Mobile now offers data share plans for families at a relatively low cost as the new plans are available on the carrier's bonus selection at Walmart across America. Two new supercars boost the auto industry's mood as two new supercars boost the auto industry's mood after they impressed their audience during the unveiling at the Detroit Auto Show. Does digital data offer indicators? That can be used to monitor marketing and effective and predict box office success even before awareness turned to intent as Americans happen to take out competition at box office. NASA and the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration labeled 2014 as the hottest year on record on Friday. If an instrument laser pushes quantum computed for it contracted at scale, a semiconductor concerns to help construct compelled quantum computed frameworks that turned out to be objected found caused by researchers. Take a look at New England. 
Into the Lord's Tier 104. In Boston, Massachusetts, body found IAO Washington and Grange, Street in Boston on scene with Massachusetts State Police, CPAC, and detectives with, with, are being notified. Peter Chell News on 105 10 now for a sports report here. After a long eight day wait, the New England Patriots are playing another playoff game, and the weather seems to be set up for next week for a hometown win as the Patriots and Colts square off at Gillette at 6 40 p.m. for the AFC Championship game. In Renton, Washington, Richard Sherman was asked about his frustration level when Green Bay Packers coach Mike McCarthy made the season over decision to turn the Seattle Seahawks shut down. Quarterback to do a shutout, quarterback aboard in the side. Rory McElroy was left to reflect on another near miss at the Abu Dhabi HSBC Golf Championship after finishing just a shot beyond the championship for the third time. Peter Channel News on 106, 10 and a half for a travel report in there, and it's smooth standing out ways by ways in New England there. And we had an accident on 95. There's an accident on 95 on the south and side of West Greenwich. So expect some delays in if you in that area here. And I-91, step on in Massachusetts, slow from Greenfield all the way down to Springfield. We got an exit on Route 5, new on Interstate 91 in Chippewa, so expect some delays here. And we got an exit on 93 on the step on side after you pass exit 3 on Route 111 in London and Wyndham, so expect some delays up in New Hampshire here. And 93... It's very slow up in New Hampshire, Interstate 89. Slow New Hampshire here due to the slick roadways here. And take a look at the Gillette Stadium traffic here at Route 1. Slow around the area of Gillette Stadium as expect Gillette Stadium and the area around it to be busy. So if you're in that area, take some alternates. Expect it to be busy on 95 1 495 when game time gets closer here. But otherwise, a smooth sailing commute here on the Sunday afternoon here. Peter Channel News on 107. And it's time now for a little weather report here. But for this afternoon, rain mainly after 2 p.m. I near 52 degrees. Stop one about 10 miles by custom size. 23 miles by chest up space is 80%. New principal miles between the 10th and quarter of an inch possible. For that, rain mainly after before 2 a.m. Punch about before 4 a.m. Low around 36 degrees. South east, put about 8 to 14 miles by coming southwest after midnight. Winds can gust size 25 miles per hour. Shut up spaces, 100% new principal amounts between 3 quarters and 1 inch possible. For Martin Luther King Day, most of the sides got have about 40 degrees on Monday, West wind about 9 to 30 miles per gust size, 26 miles per hour. For Monday night, most of the coast got low about 23 degrees, West wind about 8 miles per gust size, 22 miles per hour. For Tuesday, sides got about 35 degrees, West wind about 7 to 9 miles per gust size, 21 miles per hour. For that, slight chance of snow after midnight, most of the coast got low about 23 degrees, shut up spaces, 20%. But Wednesday, a chance of snow after 1 p.m. Mostly cast got about 34, low about 20 degrees. Chance of precipitation to 30 percent. For Thursday, most of the to podcast got about 32, low about 17 degrees. For Friday, most of the to podcast got about 32, low about 17 degrees. And for Saturday, most of the got about 31 degrees. Not temperature Saturday at 35 degrees, overcast guys. And that's me for the Peter Channel afternoon news on this January 18, 2015, on a Saturday. On a Sunday, Peter you have a good day. What a good day to you then. Go. Yeah!